So there's a couple other components to our uh, WACO propeller system here. And to do this, I've talked about the propeller, we need two other components. One is a distributor valve or a three-way valve, possibly. It depends on the configuration, what we're going to call this. Um, so that is, a, that is a valve that is down in the crankshaft. If you see this slot here in the center, that is where the distributor valve is. That's down inside uh, cranks. Here's another type of distributor valve, and this goes down inside the crankshaft. We're going to need this distributor valve, and we're also going to need a prop governor. So the three components are we have the propeller, we have the distributor valve, or three-way valve, depending, and, and then we have a prop governor. And so here's a prop governor, and this is showing us with this propeller, here is my dome out here, uh, that's my dome, and there's my counterweight, and then you can see they've got colored uh, passages, and these are oil prep passages. So I said that the way that we're going to come over, that the spinning of the propeller is going to throw, try to throw the weights on that propeller blade, and the weights are going to try to turn this to a high pitch position. The only way we overcome that is by regulating oil pressure. So we have uh, a gear system and fly weights and a spring. So there's a spring up here on top. This is our prop governor. Now I've got another video where we take apart the prop governor, and we'll look at that here. Uh, so, this, this is called the speeder spring up top. These are called the flyweights. So we will spin these flyweights around and they will move. This is the oil pump section. Oil goes around the gears in here and this actually takes incoming oil, pressurizes it, and gives us a, a higher output pressure of oil. Here is the cutaway of a prop governor. You can see all the oil pump is in the bottom. This is connected to the engine, so it turns this gear, turns this, these gears here, and that pumps up the oil pressure. And then this, between the speeder spring and the flyweights, we're going to regulate uh, what we send to the propeller. Let's take a look at the prop governor. I have a prop governor here in my hand. And this is the this connects to a cable which we can control from the cockpit, and this will set our speeder spring tension. Before we get too far, let's talk about what's in here. In here, I have a set of flyweights. I have a spring, a set of flyweights. I have an oil pump uh, that will develop high pressure oil output, and then down here I've got where it connects to the engine, and there's passages for for oil to get into that. So if I take this, and I'm going to take the top part, I'm going to split, you can see where I'm splitting. I'm going to split. This is my oil pump. Now I'm missing a gear, but there's two gears here, and this makes a gear oil pump. So oil comes in one side, goes through the gears, comes out the other side at a high pressure. Okay, now if I pull the, t okay, I took the pulley off, off there. I pull this guy apart like this, Okay, what I've got down here is I've got a spring. This is called the speeder spring. And then this, this here is a, um, d will direct oil passages. So as this moves, as this thing moves up and down, I can move it up and down, this will open different ports that I can port oil to. Now, this came out like this, right? And down inside there, those are the flyweights. So what happens is that as the engine rotates, I've got the shaft here, here's my engine rotating, I'm spinning these flyweights. All right, and these flyweights can either move like this or they can move out like this. So you can see how I'm, how I'm moving there. So that's what we've got is we've got flyweights, we've got an oil control shaft, and we've got a spring and the spring goes on top of the flyweights, right in there like, like that. And this is my prop governor. We'll put a case on here to cover up the oil pump, and we got it. Let's say we're out there and we set the pressure on this, and then all of a sudden we dive the airplane and the propeller starts to speed up, and we want it to regulate. We don't, we, we don't want it to, um, we, we want it to say at the, at the speed that it's at. So the pilot in the cockpit sets a pressure. He pulls a lever 
and it puts pressure on the spring. And the spring pushes down. And the flyweights spin. And as the flyweights spin, if they if we get to where we're spinning too fast, the flyweights are on a swivel here. And they will they will pivot out. And when that happens, that's called an overspeed position. Now what happens is when when it pivots out, it actually this because it's shaped like the L, it lifts this shaft. And that's called the pilot valve. So when we lift the shaft, now we're going to port some some oil where they're going to drain oil or we're going to port oil in this condition um, we're going to we want the in a over speed we want the propeller to take a bigger bite and that's going to slow down the engine so this is what happens this is a more complicated uh, view of this we have the speeder spring and the engine is spinning faster and the amount of force on the fly weight is overcoming the speeder spring and that's why these are pivoting and that's why this valve lifts up. When this valve lifts up it lets us port oil. This this is a oil valve here. When this raises this is going to allow oil passages to go through here and basically what we're going to do is we are going to um, we are going to release pressure and we want the fly weights to run this thing to a higher pitch angle. We take a bigger bite, it slows the engine down. Okay, so that's what they're showing us here in the overspeed condition. Now here is the underspeed condition. The pilot sets a force on the spring. And because the engine's not spinning as fast, the fly weights aren't trying to fly out. They're not, they don't have as much force. And the spring wins. It's a push of war. There's a bunch of forces pushing in against each other, and the spring wins. And when the spring wins, he gets to move down, and these flight weights rotate in. Now, what that does is that allows this pilot valve to move down. And when the pilot mo valve moves down, now we can port oil. And here's our underspeed. So here, my fly weights have moved down, and this piston has gone down. Now, what's going to happen um, with the underspeed condition? is we're going to port oil pressure to the propeller and we're going to try to reduce the blade angle. Instead of taking a big cut, we're going to take a smaller cut. And by taking a smaller cut, the engine can go faster. That's the underspeed position. Okay, then we have the on-speed position. So you're in flight, everything's normal. Now when this thing's not moving, when it's got the angle that it wants and it's going to stay at, the spring pressure that's set by the pilot in the cockpit he has a lever and that sets that spring pressure on the speeder spring. The spring pressure is going to be equal with the pressure of the spinning flyweights trying to pull out. When they're even this pilot valve shifts to a neutral position and all the oil ports are closed and we can't flow oil. This is the outgoing oil line. We cannot flow oil through here because because uh, when these guys come in they this guy comes in here and he's got a blocked passageway going from here to here. This guy comes in and he's got he's trapped between these two lands. He can't go anywhere either. So these are all sealed off. That is the on position. So there's three positions the FAA is going to ask us about this prop governor and that is the on speed condition where everything is normal and the propeller is going to stay where it's at. There's the under speed position and there's the over speed position. And those are the basics of not just constant speed props, but also this counterweight two position prop that we've got here.